Hey everybody, good morning. My name is Steve Lushan. I'm coming to you from Gilboa Quarry in Ottawa, Ohio. Every year around this time, I take two or three days and I dive with friends for my birthday weekend. It's something that I look forward to very much. Yesterday, I was able to get in the water with a good friend of mine named Jeff. We did two dives together. So it's just a beautiful fall weekend. And today, I have a group of divers I'll be in the water with, some friends. Tomorrow, I am diving with a good friend named Alex. We'll be in the water pretty much all day together. I'm really looking forward to this weekend. I've already had a couple great dives. As I was diving, I started thinking to myself, how is it that you have so many dive buddies and friends that you can get in the water with anytime? I'm very fortunate, but it all started somewhere. So I started thinking and it brought back a lot of memories. I'd like to talk to you about one memory in particular, something that happened back in 2017, around this time of year. I was preparing to come up here for my birthday weekend to come diving. I didn't have anybody to come with. My brother was not able to go with me. Nobody at my local dive shop could dive. So I went to the buddy boards. You know what? I got ghosted a lot. People would message me. I'd tell them my lack of experience and I'd never hear back from them. It just happened over and over and over again. It started getting pretty discouraging. The time was coming where I had to make a decision. Am I going to go diving for that weekend? I decided to go. I drove four and a half hours, hoping that someone would be here to dive with. I pull into the parking lot. Nobody was here. I walked in to the front office and the original owner of the quarry was here. And he told me, hey, there's some guys in the back that may dive with you if you ask them. So I got hopeful. I get in my vehicle and I drive back. As soon as I went to go introduce myself, I was met with arrogance. I could just see it on them. They were judging me immediately. I asked if I could get in the water with them. The guy was very apprehensive, asked me about my certification level. I told him. Needless to say, he didn't let me dive with them. He told me they were going to be doing a little bit more advanced dive to the tubes. For those of you who don't know, the tubes are at like 60, 65 feet. They're not really all that advanced, but I understood, I guess. He was apprehensive, but I'll never forget how he treated me. He was so cocky and arrogant and just wasn't nice at all. I remember getting kind of sad and I'm a grown man, but I'm not going to lie. I drove home pretty discouraged. While I was driving home, I just thought to myself, is this how it's going to be forever? Am I always going to struggle finding a dive buddy? I didn't give up though. The following week, I got on the, the buddy boards again. Guess what? I had a bite. Somebody was crazy enough to take a chance and get in the water with me. His name was Alex. He invited me to come out to Gaboa with him. He was diving with another friend of his. They were going to be doing some deeper dives. I didn't know what that meant. When I pulled up, I realized they had dry suits. I had a wetsuit. I realized that they had a completely different setup than I did back plate, wing. They looked a lot more technical than I was. I know they were probably worried when they saw me just because I didn't fit the part. I didn't have all the gear that they had. I definitely didn't have the experience, but they kind of included me that day. They asked me a lot of questions. They critiqued me, but they did it in a way where it was, a con it was constructive criticism. It was a way that I could actually take it and I didn't feel like they were judging me or being mean. I ended up doing the deepest, longest, coldest dive of my life at that point. The next day, Andy, which was the other guy that was, we were diving with, said he had a dry suit demo at another quarry. So I drove out there. I ended up buying a dry suit off of him. He later on became my tech instructor. So you never know, like the people that you're going to meet in the dive community, how they're going to impact your life and your training in the future. But even cooler than that, that guy, Alex, I ended up becoming great friends with him. As a matter of fact, I officiated his wedding and he just had a little baby, he and his wife. I'm going to ask right now, because this has been on my heart and mind, are you a scuba bully? I know we've been talking about that a lot, but there's a reason I'm bringing it up. Tomorrow, I'm diving with a guy who has a real sad story, to be honest with you. He's been through a lot. One of these days, if he would allow, I would love to tell you his story. But he got into the dive community to be part of a group. 
to enjoy this awesome sport that we love. And he was immediately met with the same arrogance I was met with, even more so. People have just been absolutely horrible to him. That's so wrong. Leave your comments below. Have you experienced this maybe when you first got certified or maybe you're experiencing it right now? Have you been guilty of doing this to somebody? It just really bothers me, this us for no more mentality I see in the scuba community today. I think we can be better than that. I'm not saying we don't call people out for things that we see that are dangerous or wrong, but we need to have a little tact to our words. We need to make our words palatable so people can actually digest it, take it in. I know that's what my dive buddies did with me when I first started. All these years later, I would not be where I am right now had they not taken a chance and let me get in the water with them. It impacts lives. And I know some people think this is just a fun sport. It's more than that. It's a community. Let's make it a community. Let's not make it a click. I want you to think about this. Let's just be friendlier and let's include people with our group. Invite somebody out that you would not normally invite to go diving with you. I'm not saying invite somebody out to do something that they're not certified or qualified to do. They might get hurt or killed. That's not what I'm saying. If you can invite them on a dive that they can do, why not? I will dive with anybody at least once. I will. Now, if you're dangerous or an idiot, I might not get back in the water with you. I like to try including people. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to get in the water with people that I have not dove with before. All right. Think about it. Leave your comments, questions below. If you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And I will see you in the water, please. Dive safe.